Hello, YouTube. My phone screwed up the last time I tried to visit video. Okay. I've been working on this. Got under the hood, tried to figure out what was going on. And long story short, I've been trying to figure out how to put it back into parallel after I've screwed everything up. So what I did was took the square with the one inch bar on it, uh, tried to lower this guy down to one inch and put this on one inch. <clears throat> and with the square in for a reference, I was trying to figure out this axis here and then here again. So there's no perfect point of reference because the cutting bar is just one bar down the middle. Um, but you got these, anyway, you got two feeder rollers on that go all the way in, you know, here and here. So I tried to get the same feeling of the tension on the feeler bars, on the feeder bars, here and here and here and here. And that was my best proxy for trying to get that whole thing figured out. And at the same time, because it's all at one inch, hopefully it's kind of that way. And I think the best you can do is to get to the right tooth on the sprocket. So it might not be that fine of an adjustment. You just get to that tooth and if, if you got it, you're as close as you're going to get. So then the question is how to retension it so that this doesn't happen again. These seem to be eccentrically drilled in the middle. So all I did was unscrewed it, broke the uh, thread lock, and I didn't have any other, so we'll have to see if this happens again. But anyway, um, and pointed that little lobe down here seems to point towards the, the point of maximum tension. So, focus. So, I maximized the tension on that top one, and this one seems to be sort of tight already based on just the way the chain is. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. Um, curious to see if anybody else has had this kind of problem, particularly with these uh, things from KMS. Okay, I'm going to put it back together and see what happens. <laughs> 